What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Finally playing with Quincy Blunt again. I think this is the week 8 matchup and I started playing. You know, every time I stop and then start playing again, I get a little bit rusty. So, um, the Falcons defense actually started kicking up, which I couldn't remember. You know, I do the Quincy Blitz 2.0. We hit uh, Mike Glennon and he ends up throwing the pick. I think that one's to Javier Arenas, but later on in this game, man, we keep bringing the pressure. You know what I'm saying? The D-line getting pressure. We send them blitzes, and it, and it helps us out. The offense actually scored. I'm not sure if they were scoring when I left, but I remember them not scoring for like three games in a row. They did not score a touchdown or nothing. Just field goals. <laughs> but they scored, so we end up stuffing the run on third and one. Got them to fourth and inches. So they end up putting the ball away, and the offense scored again in the first quarter. I haven't seen that in a while. Quincy Blunt shoving. I think that was the tight end back. Too little for him. And we get another sack. Gets the fumble, but the offensive lineman picks it up. I was guarding two people on that play, so I guess he was going to throw it to either, either one of them. But we got the sack anyway. They do the screen. We get another sack because he sees Quincy Blunt over there. He knows that if he threw that ball... Quincy was going to get the interception. So we do the Quincy Blitz 2.0 again, but this time Mike Glennon finds a way to beat the Blitz while getting hit. It's a nice catch, nice throw. They do another run play. It's getting stuffed again. This linebacking core on the Atlanta Falcons in Madden is really tough right now. I thought he passed it to the drag over the middle. He threw it over my head and wasn't completed. Went out of bounds. Third and seven. Whole bunch of people falling on the O line, and that means we must be getting the pressure. You've been getting the pressure this whole game, man. We it's 24 to 0 in the second quarter. Mike Glennon throwing it up. Safeties is getting mossed out here, but you know, they're balling down. It's not a touchdown, though. They're coming out, throwing the ball again. He's actually moving the ball now. So maybe they got a little bit of confidence off of that catch. You know what I'm saying? You need confidence, but we bringing the pressure again, hitting Mike Glennon. Quincy Blitz 2.0, man. It's not, it worked too much. Maybe I should stop doing it. I mess up right there. I dove at him and I missed, but true font catches his first interception of the game because I missed the tackle. <laughs> if I would have got it, he wouldn't have caught it. But look at this, man. They're going to show all the highlights. We hitting Mike Glenn in every play, even if he do throw the ball. He got hurt one time in the first quarter, but he did come back in. And he's just getting hit like... Um, quarterbacks when they under pressure I noticed this I was watching the Cowboys game it, it turns them into a whole different person as we get the first sack of the game with Quincy Blunt ends up being the first tackle because you know I'm rusty you know what I'm saying I can't really play the run like how I used to I gotta get back into it if that pass would have been caught by the running back he would have died because Quincy was over there but I think the D-Lines batted it down but I was watching that Cowboys game man and like that He's under pressure. He got to move and throw, and that's never a good idea. I'm catching the block right there, and he got a couple of yards. That's True Font's second interception. The Cowboys game, Tony Romo the week before had nine, ten, eight seconds in the pocket just to throw it. We stuff up this run right here after getting off the block, but it shows that, you know, Tony Romo, they got pressure on him. Eagles line got pressure on him, and another bad throw by Mike Glennon. I think that's True Font again for his third interception, but... Um, the Eagles D-line got pressure on him in the last game, and he couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you have a great D-line like the Eagles, I think I do think the Eagles D-line is better than the Giants this year. But we get another sack. Two sacks this game with Quincy. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do out here. Quincy Blitz 2.0. It just worked too much. And now we, we I still got getting this cover stuff. The only thing I'm good at right now is blitzing. I'm a little rusty on everything else. But they do the screen. I beat the block, and I get the running back. One single-handedly took down that screen by myself. He had three blockers, and I still got the running back. So, But pressure does make a whole lot of a difference in the uh, in real life and in this game. Because if you're getting sacks, man, they it's turnovers. Turnovers easy. We get another sack right there. That's three sacks, four tackles in the game. And, you know what I'm saying? 34-0. to zero. I never would have thought... The Falcons' offense in this game will score 34 points, but I mean, we gave them a lot of interceptions. You know, that's, we gave them at least four interceptions, had a whole bunch of sacks. You know what I'm saying? It, it was real tough, but um, that's how we do, though. We win the game 34 to 0. Win the first game back. True Font had the three interceptions. The Falcons' defense 
they must have been on steroids or something. Had the D-line going crazy. Blitzes is going crazy. And look at this, man. 14, 10, 0, 10. They score all zero across the board. So it was a nice game. But remember, if you want to be successful, you've got to bring that pressure. Bring the pressure. Sack the quarterback on anywhere. Real life, Madden, it don't matter. Because you can't get a quarterback or whoever you're playing that much time to throw. Because they will find somebody over. It will make them look great. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this video is coming to an end. So I hope you guys like this new video. You know what I'm saying? With Quincy Blunt. But always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.